Hello and welcome back to Loud Creations. Today I'm going to talk about a mixed berry mead that I started a couple months ago. It's hanging out here. Um, it's ready to bottle, but I'm going to do something different with this one, uh, which I'll get into later. But for now, I'm just going to get into how I made this. How did I get to this point? Well, Let's start with the ingredients list. I um, I used Lalvine 71B yeast, and I also used GoFirm, pectic enzyme, black tea, two pounds of thawed mixed berries, and um, three pounds of raw honey. First thing I do every time now, because it's just easier for me, I've gotten a couple questions about why I put the honey into hot water, and that is because it makes it easier for me to pour and I make less of a mess, so that's the only reason why, really. Um, anyway, back to how I made this. I boiled a half a gallon of water and I added my black tea bag to that. I let the black tea steep for about 10 minutes or so, and then I removed that bag, and I went ahead and I added my three pounds of honey and I stirred it up really well just to make sure that it was all mixed in with the water. And while the tea was steeping, I put half a teaspoon of GoFirm into my glass. Once I had mixed in the honey and taken out the tea bag, I put a little bit of that honey tea mixture into the cup with the GoFirm and I set that aside to let it do its thing. I don't know, probably for about 10 minutes. Okay, and then I used my Big Mouth Bubbler for this one, and I put the frozen berries in the Big Mouth Bubbler, and I poured my tea mixture over the berries. I stirred it really well, just to mix it all up, get some oxygen in there. Good times all around for the yeast. That's what I'm going for. And um, I went ahead and added cold or cool filtered water on top of that just to get it to cool down, but also to fill it up to a full gallon. I went a little above a gallon. I put a mark on the Big Mouth Bubbler so I can know where a gallon is. But of course that varies depending on what kind of solids you put in there, so. I put in a little extra. I also added, once the water was cooled down to like body temperature, the liquid, I went ahead and added about half a teaspoon of pectic enzyme to help break down the, uh, no, anyway, I don't need to get into why. I used half a teaspoon of pectic enzyme, threw that in there, stirred it up again, and I went ahead and pitched my yeast into the GoFirm and set that aside to let the yeast wake up. And of course, I waited for the GoFirm mixture to be body temperature. I pitched the yeast slurry into the Big Mouth Bubbler and gave it a good stir. And then I went ahead and took my gravity reading. The gravity on this one was the starting gravity was dun, 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 1.090 and I went ahead and I I step fed the yeast so uh, 24, 48, 72 hours and then uh, on the seventh day I added a quarter teaspoon of Fermate O each of those days. Let's see what the hold on Um, ABV calculator, ABV calculator. So we had 1.090. So when I went ahead and I racked it off the, um, oh, that's what I forgot to mention. I racked it off of the fruit. I want to say it was under 10 days, seven to 10 days in. I went ahead and put it into a carboy. Uh, and then I let it sit for a little longer. I can't remember how long. Then I decided to back sweeten it. And that's when I took the gravity and it was down to 1.000. And so I went ahead and added, back sweetened it with about three ounces of honey and put it back into the carboy. And I pasteurized it. So this is really, it's ready to be bottled. But what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to go ahead and put it into, let's see, what are we gonna put it into? I have this two gallon bucket. What I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do a little tasting for this video and 
I'm gonna move it into this bucket for this video, do a little tasting, let you guys know how it turned out, and um, then I'm gonna play mad scientist and make peanut butter and jelly mead, which will be in a separate video coming out shortly. So let's get to this. This smells so good. I only used two pounds of berries and it's super fragrant. It smells very much like berries. We'll see how this tastes. Okay, so I would say I'd put a little tiny bit more honey in here, which I might do when I make the peanut butter and jelly mead. Um, I think in a few months this is going to be really tasty. It's a little tart, like berry tart. And I don't know, did I put orange peel in here? I want to say I put orange peel in here, but I didn't, it, or lemon peel, excuse me, lemon peel. That's going to be a tasty beverage. It's still a little bit young. It's only... It's about a month and a half old, maybe a little more than a month and a half in. So I have a feeling it's gonna be very tasty. I'll come back probably and do like a six month tasting. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use some of this to mix with my peanut butter mead and I'm gonna to try to make a peanut butter and jelly, which will be in a separate video like I said earlier. And part of this, depending on how much I use for the peanut butter and jelly mead, Part of this is just going to get bottled so that I can have some mixed berry that I can taste in a few months and see how it went. So yeah, that is it. I hope this video is useful and I will see you next time. Thank you.